just finished doing a little tweaking on the trigger on one of the lowers that I did. And was fixing to start on the other one, figured I'd bring you all along, show you. It's not really a trigger job, so to speak, but it definitely lightens the trigger pull up on them. So, let me grab a meter and show you what we're getting on this one. Uh, 4.8, 4.5, 2, 210, that's better, 4.6, and 5, so about four and a half, four four and a half pound average on it, so not bad. I can definitely live with that. Let's move this one out of the way. This one I haven't messed with yet. Let's see. Let's see what we're getting on it. 5.8 7 -oh. so you can see they're both mil spec triggers same trigger kits and everything or uh, lower build kits I used in both of them granted every kit's gonna be a little bit different but let me show you what I do to lighten them up you can see there's what about to say about three pounds of difference in between the two and that one you can you can feel way better so first thing Pop the hammer out. Yeah, there's not a lot to this. It's really pretty easy. Put the hammer out. Don't need to take your trigger. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and take the trigger out. We're going to do a little polishing on it, too. Okay. Make sure you don't lose your spring here. Usually they stick in pretty good, but sometimes they'll fall out. All right, let me pause this, and I'll move the camera around, and I'll show you what we're going to do here. Okay, from here, take your hammer. You got two legs on the hammer for the spring. On the right side, you're going to come up somewhere right in here. Take maybe about a little over a quarter of it and clip it off. We're right in there. If you mess this up, not that big a deal. I mean, springs are cheap. You get a pack of them for a couple bucks. But, okay, that's the main thing we're going to do. Next, Dremel. A little buffing wheel and a little bit of flips. And you're going to polish this surface right here around this edge try not to go too crazy with it that's why I use polishing and not you know files or anything you can you know I, I've done it a few times but if you go too far you're gonna break the hardness layer on the sear and you're basically gonna dig up your trigger but let's go ahead and polish this shinier and just a note here I'm no gunsmith by any stretch of the imagination I work on these things all the time but not a gunsmith I mean you guys do this at your own risk and you know if you screw something up don't blame me you you did it on your own so yeah. right, that's out of the way Put a little more clips on there I probably just slung that shit all over my camera
Okay. That's pretty much all for the trigger. This will help get rid of a lot of the grittiness. And then on the hammer, you're going to want to polish this area right back here. And you're going to try and get on that ledge. That ledge is what rides right there. So when you pull the trigger, I'm getting camera and frame here. When you pull the trigger, it breaks, drops the hammer. So the smoother you can get those two surfaces, or surfaces, damn, I can't talk today, the better. A little more flips. And polish that area up. Okay, get your rag, wipe all that off, kind of look at it, make sure everything's shiny and smooth, let's see, there we go, but it, it definitely helps take a lot of the grittiness out of the trigger, and cutting that spring, you can take the whole leg off, but you got to watch certain, uh, Especially NATO rounds, they've got a lot harder primer. I know that like Tula, some of the cheaper stuff, they got the Bairdon primers in them and they're really hard. This is gonna reduce the amount of pressure the hammer puts on the firing pin. So if you got a hard primer, if you go too far with this, it's not gonna, you, know, you may get light primer strikes. Um, most Federal Ammo, Lake City, stuff like that. I haven't had any issues with it, but I'm gonna say if you go too far and get it too light, you might have issues they say it all it depends not all triggers are gonna react the same to doing this you know some work better than others this one it came out pretty good it's not bad at all but i've had others uh i can't remember what brand lower kit it was but did the same thing to it and it really didn't change it much i ended up tossing it and getting another trigger kit put in it but. all right wipe this one off So just play with it, practice with it. I mean, you screw something up. I mean, this stuff's cheap to replace. Okay. Let me pause this. I'll put the gun back on the bench block, and we'll put it back together, and we'll check it and see how well it did. All right, got to set back up. Let's start putting it back together. Something else you can do on the trigger itself, the area right here, if you polish it out, it... It'll smooth the trigger up a little bit. I'm not doing it on this one. Just I really don't care that much about it. So, but yeah, you can polish those areas there, and it smooths it up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and put this back together.
Alright. Stop. So I can put your hammer back in. Do this stuff without the camera on, it goes so much easier. So like every time you turn the camera on, everything wants to be a pain in the ass. you all want to watch this, give me a second, let me put this thing in, take this off and put it on there and be right back. Okay, got the hammer back in there. That was kind of a pain, but... Alright, let's check trigger. Move this over a little so you can see. Alright. Five, eight. I don't trust that one. 410. 312. So it definitely knocked a lot of it knocked a lot of the weight off. 42. So it's about like the other one now. 44. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Two fifteen. Eleven. Four twelve. So it, it dropped a pound, pound and a half, somewhere around there. So it's it's definitely better than it was. It's a whole lot smoother. And just the perceived feel of it, it's a lot better. Definitely much better. A lot of the grittiness and stuff's gone. So, anyway, guys, that's all I was going to show you for today. If you got any questions, you know, we're putting them down there in the comments. I'm going to put these back in the safe and I guess reload some more ammo. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.